Okay, hello everybody. I'm here tonight to show you some of my um, Ghostbusters Little Big Planet levels. The first one I'm going to show you in this video is the f one of the first levels I, I made back in 2000 and 2012. So let's get this thing started up. Okay, here we go. So what the idea of this one was, it was my first attempt at making a third person shooter Ghostbusters game. And at the time that this one's made, I believe around September 2012, the, um, the video game on PlayStation 3 was only a couple of years old at the time. And that's kind of what inspired the gameplay a little bit. So here we start off in the Ghostbusters headquarters. Obviously it's very flat. There's a proton pack on my back and the character. At the time I thought that looked really good. Hey Venkman, can you come meet me by the containment unit system please? As you see there we have the um, the NES with the congratulation you have completed a great game quote from the, um, the old classic NES game. Got some of the purple slime from Ghostbusters 2. This here, I designed it to kind of look like how the proton packs get charged up. As you can see, the, uh, there's like a cable attached into the, the kind of clip thing that sits in the center piece of the, the round bit at the bottom. This is the containment unit. Obviously, nowhere near to the standard of how I made it in my latest game that I made late last, last year. And I'll do a video of that as well at the time. I, I don't know why I didn't use photo references to try and get a bit more accurate than that. Here's Egon. Peter, we got to go. I'll just let you read that. <laughs> Practice with the ghost basically now. Obviously trying to take on the um, the way that the proton pack damages damages stuff. I don't know if anyone's played this in its time. It did quite well. Got quite a lot of good um, comments on my Little Big Planet account for it. It's I'd say the most successful game I had on Little Big Planet. This was made in Little Big Planet 2. But it's still available to play on Little Big Planet 3, obviously, if you want to check it out. Nice work, let's see how... Oh, no, I've never noticed that spelling mistake there. Obviously at this stage now, there's no point in me going back and altering it, because I'd leave it as it is. Like nostalgia. The, the reason why I'm doing these videos is I want to show my previous Ghostbusters levels, because I've, I'm sure you've seen the, um, the video of the... Um, the dreams game, the Ghostbusters dreams game I've recently made. So I thought I'd go back and show you the um, the old the old stuff. This is basically a peek. We're in now in the we're now in the New York Public Library. We've got the PK meter in, our, in the in the player's hand. And we're basically looking for the Grey Lady Ghost. Here we have the symmetrical book stacking from the movie. The drawers that open up by themselves and. All the cards spew out in the beginning of the movie. See the PK image starting to light up. There we go, there she is. Eleanor Twiddy, I believe. Uh, is it Eleanor Twiddy? The librarian ghost? The grey lady? All you gotta do is blast her. I did make two games after this where you kind of catch the ghost in a ghost trap, but. Neither of them was as successful as this one. They had the display prize. Neither game was as, as, as successful as this one. Yeah, he just like kind of can destroy everything. Here's Egon again. Bless him. Egon, but not forgotten. Yeah, basically we've now got the um, the blue ghost coming out of the subway system from the, the montage in the film. That's supposed to be the subway system. I noticed this, uh, the Stay Puff Marshmallow advertisement there, I put puffed instead of Stay Puffed. So, but I never changed it, I just left it as it was. 
There he is. The uh, blue ghost that comes out. You've seen for like a second. In the movie. Good vaporize. There we go. You can shoot the fire at hydrant and stop. And the uh, traffic light. Is he gone again? Now we're going to the, the Sedgwick Hotel to catch um, the Onion Ghost, the, the, the Onion Head, aka Slimer. Level is it level five? Full roaming vapor, or free roaming vapor, I think they call him. Here we are. Obviously, at the time, I thought this all looked really, really good. But it's it's aged okay for a little big planet game. But playing back, playing it back, I am aware that the, l the latest one I made last year visually is a lot better than this. This game took me about a fortnight to make, I believe. There he is, Slimer himself, the ghost of John Belushi. Okay, you can d totally vaporize the um, the dining room. Yay! I was, always, I was always impressed by the chandelier breaking in this area's last image. We'll just go break some more stuff. There we go. I was always impressed with how I did the destruction and the fire. Probably like the selling point for this game. And the selling point was the way I tried to... Obviously not selling, obviously no one's biting it, but... Um, the like, point of it was it was to try and replicate a third-person Ghostbusters shooter with, within the limitations of Little Big Planet. Here we go, coming up to the final stage soon. Now we're going to a museum across the street. As you can see the, um, the Ghostbusters logo on the arm and the Ecto-1 here were stickers, like part of a pack. When you bought the, the Ghostbusters um, character pack you got like a Slimer mask, a little I'm sure, Peter Vakeman outfit, but you got a couple of stickers and stuff as well as part of the pack. I think that the idea of it was it was a promotion for the um, the video game, the 2009 Ghostbusters video game. This ghost here, as you probably can tell, it's the it's actually the um, the museum ghost from Ghostbusters, not museum. This is the museum, um, the um, theatre ghost from Ghostbusters 2. But for some reason I decided to stick him in the museum. I was obviously because of the limitation with little big plan with the um, the textures and stuff. I thought like, there were some good textures to make a museum, like the artifact kind of stuff. Where we're a little big planet, you don't really make your own graphics per se, you kind of use objects that you find. Whereas in dreams, you kind of try and sculpt everything yourself or use other sculpts from the Dreamiverse. So anyone that's obviously played dreams from PlayStation would obviously know that. Here we are in Dana Barrett's apartment. The old terror dog in the fridge. The hole in the wall, kind of represented from the end of the movie. And there's the two terror dogs and goes of the Gozerian. <laughs> Choose the form of the destructor. And here is the marshmallow dog. Come on! Here we go, I'll still set on fire. Roast him! There we go. One, two, three, roast him! There he's going to blow any time soon. I love this town! There we go. That's basically it. And I did, later when I added a kind of thank you message to everyone that's played it and voted. Obviously, here it says over the last three years, but obviously it's been a lot more than three years now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I have, I have other Ghostbusters, Little Big Planet, and Dreams, obviously my Dreams videos, available to watch. In the meantime, don't cross the streams.